Chanukah Sameach. I know that particularly as we are in a time of travail, a time of war, a time of milchama, a time where many Jews, uh, over 200, are held as hostage, and our chayalim, our soldiers, are putting their lives at risk. Uh, we could aptly describe this period as a period of darkness. And yet the lesson of Hanukkah is the light that pierces the darkness, a light that goes beyond what we thought possible, that one day of light somehow became eight days, because when God blesses your efforts, there is no limit to the Hatzlacha that you can receive. And as a result, Hanukkah is a very, very auspicious time to contemplate the divine light that can rescue us from the greatest darkness that one faces. This is true on the national level, and this is true on the individual level as well. I wanted to share with you a little observation, and this is um, based on a very, very famous question. It probably is the most famous question in the whole literature of Hanukkah, and that is, if Hanukkah commemorates a miracle that they found enough oil for one day, and the menorah burned for eight days, then the miracle of Hanukkah was only seven days because the first day there was enough oil. So why do we celebrate Hanukkah for eight days? We should only celebrate it for, for seven days starting from the second day. This is a question that is asked by Rav Yosef Karo in the Beis Yosef. I know for a fact there are at least 500 answers to the question because I have a safer that has 500 answers to the question. I will not uh, give you all 500 answers, but I want to share with you one particular answer. The question presupposes that day number one is not a miracle because it is only nature. Nature, there's enough oil for one day. The miracle is only the other seven days. But in point of fact, Judaism teaches there is no such thing as nature. Everything is a miracle from God. Nature simply means the miracles that recur constantly, and miracle refers to that which is unusual and violates the normal protocols of nature. But a sensitive Jew understands that the world does not run of its own accord. Every single thing that happens in my life, every single phenomenon of nature is only coming because of the will of God. So in a sense, therefore, the supernatural miracle is not a lesson in and of itself, but it's there to teach me that even nature itself is ultimately miraculous. That is why the Ramban says that the word for miracle, which is nace, is a banner or a flag that attracts attention to what I otherwise wouldn't notice. The Hassam Sofer says that this explains an intriguing passage in the famous Hanukkah song, Ma'oz Sur, which is about all of the exiles, but in the stanza about Hanukkah, it says, B'nai Bina, the people of understanding, Yemei Shemona, made Hanukkah for eight days. The Hassam Sofer says, why are they called B'nai Bina? And his answer is, the difference between Chachma and Bina is Chachma is taking in information. Bina is extrapolating from the known to the unknown. A chacham would have made Hanukkah for seven days because I see a supernatural change in nature of seven extra days. But if I have Bina, if I extrapolate from the known to the unknown, I will understand that even day number one is miraculous. Thus, the Zemer says, only through the quality of Bina do we make Hanukkah eight days. This is a very important lesson in life. We say in our davening three times a day, Al nisecha shebechal yom imanu, because of the miracles that we face and we experience every single day. Life, to see, to talk, to love, to think. Yeah, it's normal, so to speak. But just because it's normal does not negate its miraculous character. And for that, we need to be eternally grateful, joyous, appreciative. And then, Baruch Hashem, Israel has such a fine army and we, we are so proud of our chayolim. But we have to recognize that ultimately, there is no such thing as a natural victory. Everything comes from God and we must appreciate it as miraculous and divine. That is one of the lessons of Hanukkah. 
May we indeed see the powers of light overpower the forces of darkness and evil. And may this be a precursor to the final redemption of Mashiach, for which we yearn so strongly. Thank you, Chalakah Sameach.